is a Mila Complete C3 Extreme Power Line. The, I think this makes it the 1600 watt. Yes, the 1600 watt. First step in the UK from, you know, all out, no one cares, to EU Vegs Part 1. This one is in with me because it makes a funny noise. And I've just turned it on. making rather a strange noise and that intrigued me and I know that some of you like looking inside of these things and seeing what the problem is so let's let, let's see if we can stop this from sounding like a garden strimmer Yes, hello my vacuum cleaner chums, how are you today? Yes, this Mila lives with one of my cleaning lady contacts. Yes, I have a lot of people who are domestic Facebook cleaners who use Mila's and yeah, she bought it my way. Can I have a look at it? So we have, we have two tools actually, that is two more than I thought we would have. I doubt they ever get used at all. Inside of, ooh. That's, that's gone quite ick, isn't it? In fact, that wants to come off anyway, so we'll have that off now, because we need to get to the motor. Oh, very, very nice indeed. We have a, oh, a genuine, genuine bag look. Very nice. Remains of an air freshener. And in here, uh, oh, very, very wet and damp looking, or has been filtered. And in there, is where we want to go. What's been through the motor? Seemingly nothing, which is, if anything, perhaps a little bit worrying indeed. Oh, none of this has really come apart in so long, I think. So, we'd best get to taking ourselves apart a Mila. So, switch pack comes off first, nice and gently, because you don't want to break any of the tabs, like so. Then, Oh, you've got to release this back bumper out of this clip, which can be annoying. Although I think first we will undo all of the screws. With all the screws undone, we need a cheeky little lever down here-ish in order to undo the first of our clips that we need to remove. All of that here needs to come off that up there. That's up there, oh, and then the whole thing should just unclip and the top shell comes away like so. Then we have another screw buried down here, which, come on. My bits are getting very worn <laughs> from doing so many meters. Then once with this goes, there is a screw here. Uh, I think that might actually be it. Yes, I think so. In theory, then, this whole thing and the back should lift off and we can unplug that part. And there is our cord reel and other such doodah, top chassis. Take our little motory fellow out and see what's... Ooh, that's been very... Oh, that's... I can't turn that by hand. This mirror has sucked up some water, I think. Oh dear, oh dear, oh dear. Let's take this motor apart and see if we can get some life into it. Oh, blimey. Oh, brilliant. It's all corroded on as well. Oh, this these just slide off when they're not like this. This means you have to go get a hitty screwdriver. Yes, every toolkit should have a hitty screwdriver. And we tap off the fan case, working around the circumference so you don't bend it, because it's got to go back on again. Oh, come on. Gosh. Wow, it's this bit here that's seized on. Lovely. Look at that. That's... 
Probably the filthiest me oh there you go, it, it does turn oh, okay. Ah Ah there it was <laughs> Something had happened that was causing that to rub because that sounds alright actually. What do you reckon? Should we take it apart the rest of the way since we're here and you know try and give it a bit of a service, the bearings could probably do with some oil <laughs> or a re-grease and that is fairly easy to do. Problem is now I'm going to be getting this off. Ah, time to step up the tools. <laughs> I've got to go and get the Vax power head in order to take the battery off of it to go onto the thing that the battery actually is for. Isn't that, isn't that ironic? Ah, get off. Oh. Got to have a cloth, otherwise you will tear your hands to shreds. There you go, that got it. One nut removed. Yes, it does take a 40 volt impact sometimes. Oh gosh, this is ever so busty. Washer, fan, which I think I might wash, just because that is covered in crud anyway, and we'll be throwing the whole thing off balance. Then we need to go back to our T20. And undo these four screws here. I think I'm just going to get the motor of these, uh, you know, wash all this up and then call it done. Yeah, look at this, has been wet and it's not running particularly beautiful anyway. And it's a, uh, a high mileage meter motor sounds like, sounds like, looks like, folks. Oh, bless it. Carbons are okay though. Yeah, that's fine, a little bit of excessive sparking, but, you yeah, know, can understand it on this motor. Where is, oh, this will do. Oh, no, fell out already. Yeah, okay, the bearings aren't too bad. Harbature is certainly used, but not abused. And, yeah, overall, it's it's okay, I think. I'm just going to wash the fan, drop of oil in the bearings. Oh, we best check the other meal of gotcha. See what the solder joints are doing. Because while we're here, I mean, it runs, but it may not run for long. Oh, look, you can see it's starting, look. Look at all that flux resin. That's where it's got really, really hot. And then it starts to melt. And that's what then drops this chip off. And that is, yeah, I mean, we fixed. That's already loose. So I'm going to re-solder that as well. We've done that before, as you've seen. Yeah, what a what a poor old thing. I mean, we're only now a few steps away from getting the coil out. But I think I'll leave the coil in, solder that, wash that up. I'll get it back together, and then we'll see if it sounds any better. See you in a day or so when things have dried. It's been a couple of days now and the fan went absolutely filthy, horrible black, but didn't look that much better when it came out. But hopefully it will run a lot better. I have put new grease in both the bearings, given the com just a little, little brush off with some carbon wire wheel, wire wool carbon brushes that's why I said carbon I'm trying to put this together whilst talking to you yes yeah, so it's all been tickled it's not been you know amazingly clean because I find if you scrub too hard on things like the armature it can make it a little bit iffy I've also reflowed the solder joints on the PCB which weren't too bad but whilst it was out it seemed silly not to and the only real thing that we got to do now is to put this entire thing back together Oh, to work out if it's going to be any good or if it is sadly deceased. What you got to do really, you got to go through all the work in order to troubleshoot and test. And that's why I'm at the stage now with the motors when I can do this talking to you reasonably okay because oh, they're just a little bit second nature. Now that still free spins, that goes on there, this goes on there, then that. Then the nuts, and before you know it, the machine should be back together. And with it looking more like a Mila Complete C3, I'm going to come over to my nearest spare socket. And 
Unfortunately, no. The motor is no good. The bearings, I think, have gone and I mean, didn't seem to like running all that much. Let's turn it back on again. No, unfortunately, that is still no good. Oh, it smells as well. But again, it, it just smells of burning plastic. What's going on? Aha, you see, this is the problem. This part here should enclose the bearing. But because of all of the wear that the motor has, it's now moving in and out. And this is as tight as I can get it by tapping the bearings in and out. But that is what the problem is. That is why it's been rubbing on our fan case. As you can see, look, it's blue now. That's even worse than it was before. So I need to either find a whole other top section. I don't think it's going to glue because there's too much forces in motion. I think that this motive is curtains as well. Oh, no. Another motor torn apart. This is the problem. This, yeah, it was this. So that, with the fan case tweaked out just a little bit to get to where we are now, has that working. So do not use your meal for water. If you do, get it apart and apart again as quick as possible, and you'll probably be okay. Don't leave it until the bearings and all the rust expand everything out until it eats away at this part because that then really is a problem but we got one back together and that will do so ugh, until the next horrible meal of experience i and this one will see you soon bye bye <laughs>